morning everyone just been thinking on week seven day five <laughs> that sometimes the most uncomfortable part of the run is the warm-up don't mind me uh, it's like your heart rate just skyrockets and I think it's one of the parts where I felt the most uncomfortable I know it was definitely the case today it's like why am I doing this at the crazy o'clock uh, Uh, watching some videos of the ginger runner last night like when Kimberly went for her first 50 kilometer run and it's such a huge thing to go through and I could see when she was getting really upset and it's like, I've been there before. I sometimes find those videos emotional. Because you know how hard it was for that person to do it. Uh, yeah. Fun times, but now that I've done that, well, done the warm up anyway, part of it. It's like when I started, it feels like a real struggle to be doing like around 10 minute mile mark, and um. Also the, which is like six minutes a kilometre, but now that I've warmed up, I'm breathing a little bit better, my heart rate isn't frantically jumping and jumping and jumping, you don't have that uncomfortable feeling, and now it feels like it's at a resting heart rate and you're comfortably doing a pace that you weren't doing a few minutes ago. So, this morning, I've taken a bit of a different path. Normally I go out to Lake Island or somewhere, but right now I'm, well, you should be able to see. Um, I think this would just be the best part for this training. Morning guys! Hey. See, they've got the same idea. So, it should be pretty good here. Just a reminder, today's workout is a pyramid workout. So I've got uh, one minute fast, one minute recovery, two minutes fast, two minutes recovery, three minutes fast, three minutes recovery, uh, and two minutes fast, two minutes recovery, one minute, fa one minute fast, one minute recovery, and then I've got 15 minute cool down. So I should be doing like, they said estimated four to six miles. I don't think I'll get the six miles. I'll see how it goes. I'm not aiming for all of that. I just want to get the peak of my running done. and have a nice cool down. Uh, 
run. What else can I run? Try and stick in this area. And yeah. I'd be happy with three miles. <laughs> but I don't know I would have done more than that. Just from the warm up and cool down. Yeah, I've got time. So I'll do this main stretch just on a flat for the start of the Churchill Park Run area. The three minute one, I'm not going to have enough distance on that stretch, so I may do the Churchill Park Run start for the first three Ks. It's one minute up, one minute down, two minutes up, two minutes down. Even the two minutes will be a little bit long. I'll have to run up to the bus stop and turn around on the other side of the street. Anyway, I'm going to keep jogging for the next three minutes and start my workout. Thanks guys. Okay. One minute ten recovery left. So I've done a one one, a two two, a three three. So now I've got one more two two and one more one one. <laughs> one one was a race horse, two two was one two, one 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 race, two two one one two. Oh, should be recovering, not doing tongue twisters. Uh yeah. I didn't end up using the Churchill Park Run course. I just went I started down here. I went up, recovered, and then I did up and back. And then the third one, I started up there. I went down and up, and then part way down. And I got exactly where I was hoping to get for that three minute one in terms of distance. So for the two, I think if I can make it back to the stairs or the ramp, just over there, I'll be happy. Um, I have to get back down there. Actually, no, I'll start here. <laughs> right, see you soon, guys. Isn't it funny how fast you can push yourself? And that last one absolutely smashed it. Uh, didn't get to start where I wanted to for the last one minute, but I still made it all the way down to the end, which was my goal. Uh, so now I've got a nice 15 minute cool down. Might follow the path I came. Had a little bit more because I walked more at the start when I was getting this working. Yeah. So that's today pretty much done and dusted. Uh, I'll get home. I should have plenty of time to shower have some food uh, <clears throat> fill out some paperwork I have to do and Mike I should get enough time to upload this as well before I go to work <sighs> be good to have it up early we don't have to worry about it for the rest of the day which is a bonus <sighs> Anyway, I'll talk again just before the end of the run. Uh, just zen out a little bit for the cool down. Thanks guys, see you soon. I'm going to use this time to have a little bit of a chat. I'm thinking I want to get some videos prepared for my 100 kilometer run. I don't want it to be 
just what happened on that day. Watching some videos online, people have incorporated videos that were like months before the event. I know it's only still only a few months away for me. But I want I wanna I wouldn't mind videoing some people have like a QA for those that know that I'm doing this. Uh, which most people should know I'm doing by now. Um, and just asking them what they think of someone that's training for a 100 k uh, And just anything else that comes to mind. And adding that into the video. I'm not sure. I'm, I'll refer to the ginger runner again when Kimberly went for her first 50k and it's like she was going on she doesn't know what to expect from it she said she's had harder races like it was a really hard run for her just filled with so much anxiety and nutrition went wrong um yeah um yeah Let's go this way. Got time. So yeah, if people up for that, I'm not sure who's going to be there. I was talking to Mum the other day. She said she's keen. I've already booked the accommodation we had last time, and. Sorry if there's too much glare on the camera, I'm trying not to. And I'm not expecting her to stay up there the whole time. It'll be a long day. She can spend some time with her friend that lives up there. Wonder if Mark Kenny will be there again. If he does the hundred again or the hundred miler. I think he could do the 100 mile. I think he's training for other things though. I'll query him on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's like so much going through my head. I need to be voicing them a little bit more. So yeah, I think I might start doing some videos for the intro I'll possibly have a new intro just for that video and go from there mm, someone's up in a bit lots of people up in a bit I'll get back soon so yeah I if I can just... hopefully that's better for you <laughs> Too late, I'm in the last few minutes of my activity now. Um, it's so easy to do videos in a way, but I'd really like to um, make it a really good video. There's still a lot of training I have to do. I'm really nervous about some of it. At the moment, I feel like this is like just good everyday training. I think it's starting to help. I think the past few weeks I've been doubting myself a lot and I've been saying I've lost speed, I've lost speed. I think I've not lost it, but I'm just not pushing myself enough or it's just not the same circumstances time and time again. Like every time I do a speed session, it's a at a different spot. Every time I do a park run, it's different. I can't go, oh, I didn't do a park run in 22, 
40, 22, 30. It's like, when I was doing those times, I was doing hardly any Ks throughout the week. My legs felt fine, like there was nothing wrong with them. And it's just about getting there, bang, go. Whereas now when I go to a park run, I've already done like, what is it? 10 to 16 Ks or something. <laughs> um, it's not the case this weekend. I'll have done two or three Ks. I don't think I have many kilometers to do tomorrow. I've got like, um, I think four to six. So anywhere from like eight to 10 Ks. So I'll do a couple of Ks for the park, before the park run as a warm up, do the park run, go back for people. And that will be about it, really. Might just jog a little bit so I get back home. Actually, I'll leave this video for here. Um, it's a bit of a long one when I said I wasn't going to do anything. Anyway, thanks guys for watching today's video. I might have to just do a video at some point where I'm just sitting out in the forest somewhere. <laughs> All right, thanks guys, I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye.